now still on to health. Uganda, like many other countries in Africa, has prioritized education of all children, especially girls. While this, while this has improved on literacy levels, girls are still drop out of school due to poor management of the monthly menstruation cycle. It is at this trend that Eco pads, a reusable sanitary towels manufacturer, is seeking to change in partnership with the Pentecostal Assembly of God in Arua district. Welcome back to Swari Gigan. You're still watching this channel now. On to the international scene, he was President Donald Trump has lavished praise on Chinese leader Jinping, a marked contrast to his previous criticism of China on the flashpoint issues of North Korea and trade. But he also urged Mr. Jinping to work very hard on persuading North Korea to denuclearize. On China's trade surplus, Mr. Trump surprised many when he said he did not blame China for taking advantage. The U.S. President was speaking in Beijing while on a state of visit. He's in the Chinese capital as part of his five nation tour of Asia. The two leaders held talks earlier on Thursday after a grand welcome for Mr. Trump. They also announced the, the signing of a 250 billion U.S. dollars, which is about 180 billion pounds worth of business deals. Offering warm encouragement, Mr. Trump has said China can fix this problem easily and quickly in reference to North Korea's nuclear program. Mr. Jinping, for his part, said both sides would continue to work towards fully implementing UN sanctions and enduring peace on the Korean Peninsula. Now, summing up sports, Vipers Football Club continues to progress with players exhibiting excellent performance, now attracting sponsorship. Venom have registered yet another great deal with DFC Bank, signing a three-year contract worth 300 million Uganda shillings, which was officially unveiled at the bank's headquarters.